Let's start working on question 1.2 now. So we have two neighbors, Thelma and Luis. Now during the winter, a snowplow can clear the street in front of their houses. So we have marginal utility of Thelma from the snowplowing services, this function, 12 minus Z. And 8 minus 2z is the marginal utility for Luis. The marginal cost of plowing is 16. Now in part A we want to sketch the marginal utility curves and the aggregate willingness to pay. What's going to be the efficient level of snow plowing. Okay, so what are the marginal utility curves? Let's do them separately and then we'll do it for the aggregate, for the entire society. Because we have two people so we have to care about both. Now, we have the marginal utility function over here, 12 minus z for Thelma, meaning on the y-axis we're going to have our marginal utility, our marginal utility of Thelma, on the x-axis we'll have the level of snow plowing, so z. Now just like we did graphs with consumers where we had the demand curve showing the maximum willingness to pay, this is the same analogy, this is the same logic. 12 is going to be the maximum willingness to pay for the snow plowing service. That's going to be the intercept on this axis. So that's going to be 12. Now the slope is negative one, meaning that the Z intercept is also going to be 12. And when we connect the two, that's going to be our marginal utility of Thelma. So there we go. That's the marginal utility of Thelma. Now with the same logic, we're doing it for Luis. So on this side, we're going to have the marginal utility of Luis relative to the snow plowing services. What is Luis? maximum willingness to pay well that's going to be eight so we plot eight over here somewhere below and the slope is negative two meaning it's going to be steeper and the maximum snow plowing that Luis would like is going to be equal to four that's going to be the intercept over here so four when we connect when we connect the two we'll have over here the marginal utility of Luis, marginal utility of Luis. Now let's think about the aggregate. When we think about the aggregate, we think about the total utility in this society. So that means we're caring about the marginal utility of Thelma plus the marginal utility of Luis. What's that going to be? We're literally going to add functions. So we will have 12 minus z plus 8 minus 2z. Now what's that equal to? 12 plus 8, that's equal to 20 minus z minus 2z that's minus 3z. Okay, let's plot this on the graph because we will have we will have a special case, not not a very uh, simple graph, so to speak. We'll have a kink. We'll have a small kink over here. Uh, the marginal utility of the society, right, and relative to the number of snow plows, that's going to be z. What we can see now is that the maximum willingness to pay of both guys is going to be 20 euros. So we will have the intercept of 20 we will have the intercept of 20 and this slope is going to be equal to minus 3. So we'll have a slope of minus 3, meaning that for this, for this graph, the, for this graph, the intercept on the x-axis for the snow plowing is going to be 20 divided by 3. And that's 6 point something. Let's put it hypothetically. Hypothetically, it's going to be pretty steep. So let's say that's going to be somewhere over here. 20 over 3 but what matters is this this level of snow plowing is only demanded by Thelma because Thelma's maximum willingness uh, of snow plowing is 12 right he she, she would like it, it would still make her happy to have 12 snow plows so 12 is going to be somewhere further right if this is 6 point something 12 is going to be somewhere over here but for Luis the maximum uh, or let's say the marginal utility is exhausted after four snow plows. He has no more benefit beyond the level of four snow plows, which is to the left, which is to the left of 20 over 3. So it's somewhere over here. And that's where the king come in, co comes in. Because we are caring about the total utility of this society, of both players, we are going to have a kink beyond the level of four snow plows because beyond the level of snow plows, the marginal utility is going to belong only to Thelma because she's the one still requiring some snow plows after that level. Louise won't, meaning that this function over here where we care about both people is gonna, is gonna go until the level of four. So we will have this, we will have this marginal utility of this society until the level of four let me just do it better until the level of four snow plows. And at the level of four snow plows, we will continue with the graph with the slope of Thelma. So the marginal utility of Thelma goes from there until 12 units of snow, until 12 units of snow plows, something like that. 
and hypothetically this is the line with the intercept of with the intercept of 12 this is the marginal utility of Telma so this is the marginal utility of Telma and the marginal utility of both players of Luis and Telma so the marginal utility of Telma plus the marginal utility of Luis is going until the level of four snowplows beyond that only Telma still derives utility from additional snowplows hope this makes sense now what's going to be the efficient level of snow plowing well that happens when both marginal utilities is equal to the marginal cost of 16 so 20 minus 3z is going to be equal to 16 meaning that the optimal level of snow plowing for this society if we work out the math over here that would be equal to 4 over 3 so 4 over 3 that's 1 and a third so it's going to be let me just also put the marginal cost on the graph 16 let's say it would be something over here that would be the marginal cost on our graph and this is the intersection with the marginal utility of both guys and the optimal level would be 4 over 3 and that's it hope this makes sense in the next video we'll solve part b of the question